Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing the bedtime or sleep range, I think it's called, from This Works. Now, This Works is a brand from the UK, and I think that it was created a while back for, by a um, like a magazine beauty editor or something like that, but I'm not 100% sure, but it's from the UK, from London, and it's been around for a while, and I thought that this was like an under the radar brand that not everyone knew about and I don't know if everyone does know about it but it's basically uh, I just recently realized that it's available in loads of places in the US loads of places in the UK in different places around the world as well so it's quite easy to get hold of now I think that the most well-known product from the range like the hero product so to speak is their um, pillow spray that was what I was most intrigued to try from the range just as a disclaimer I'm on the PR list so I do receive the products from them um, complimentary whenever I recommend a product to you guys I always think would I recommend this product to my mum who hasn't got a huge budget for her beauty products obviously I give her a lot of stuff or like you know, one of my best friends that is on a tighter budget. I'm not saying that all you guys are on a tighter budget, not at all. But um, what I'm trying to say is, is that I kind of always very carefully and honestly recommend products to people because I know that if you're spending it, you know, with your hard earned cash, then you definitely want something that is going to work and is going to be good for you and it's going to be money well spent. Now obviously just because I like it doesn't mean that you are going to like it, um, but I always do my best to give you the most honest and kind of well thought out reviews so that you hopefully get the most out of them. So this, this bedtime range is quite big now. It started off as the pillow sprays and they've kind of obviously added onto it because it's so popular. So the first um, two sprays that I'm going to talk about are the deep sleep pillow spray. I think this was their like original one that they launched and then there's the sleep plus pillow spray. Now what the deep sleep pillow spray is supposed to do is help you get off to a good night's sleep. And then the plus one is supposed to be for people that kind of have like an unsettled sleep in the night and they sometimes wake up in the night. That's what they're supposed to do. I'll tell you a little bit about what I think that they do um, a little bit further on. The next pillow spray, this is a really new one. It's called the Sleep Power Nap Spray. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not a fan of power naps. I know a lot of people are. If I sleep during the day, even if it's for 15 minutes, I feel really groggy and not good. I wake up feeling really hungry, um, like a bear that's just come out of hibernation and it just doesn't suit me at all. Um, but I'll get down to that again in a little while. In addition, we've also got the Sleep Power Recharge Mask, which is a face mask that smells like the classic scent, which is like lavender. They've also got geranium in. I think, I'm not certain, I think it might have a little bit of peppermint and a little bit of vetiver in there as well. It smells, they all smell incredible. That's what I love the most. So this is a mask that exfoliates, brightens the skin, and it, um, yeah, it smells like them. But again, I'll get back to that in a minute. And then we've got the bath oil that they've got, the salts for the bath. And then lastly, there is like a stress check roll on. So this is something that can be used at any time of the day, I imagine. And it's just like a little roller ball that um, contains essential oils. And then you can just like, rub it on your pulse points and it should relax you. This smells slightly more fresher and mintier than the rest of the stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to start to give you my personal thoughts on the different products that I've just shown you. I've said what they're supposed to do. Now I'm going to say what I think they actually do because I feel like it's slightly different. So in terms of the pillow sprays, I haven't noticed any difference whatsoever between the regular one and then the Sleep Plus. If I am going to wake up in the middle of the night, it doesn't happen very often, but it's going to happen, I think, whether I've used this or not. I personally absolutely love the pillow sprays. I love them so, so, so much, purely from um, a comforting well-being point of view. They smell lovely. I love getting into a fresh bed and scent on the pillows. Is I just think it's something so luxurious. Um, I just think that scent in the home is just really, really nice. So from that standpoint, I love them. Now, I didn't think that they would go beyond that. I didn't think that they would actually 
help me sleep. They actually do help me sleep. And I don't say that lightly. I really, really mean that. And I'm, I'm really surprised by it. So when I spray them, sometimes I just literally conk out and fall asleep really quickly. When say I plan to read a book for 20 minutes or something like that, I, not always, but quite often I'll spray it and then I will fall asleep much quicker. And yeah, I'm as surprised about that as you. So they definitely help soothe me. They definitely help relax me. They smell lovely. They're comforting. They feel luxurious to have that scent on the bed. And I feel like they really, really work. But the difference between these two, they're both, I think they work in exactly the same way if you ask me. Now this one is slightly stronger and more powerful in its scent. Um, gosh, I've made a right old mess of the thing. This is often ends up chucked in my suitcase. I love to take these away with me when I go to London because it smells, you know, I have the same smell on my pillow, in my bed, um, when I'm staying somewhere else as when I'm staying at home and I really, really like that. So that's good. This is, smells the same, but it's just, it's got more of a kick to it. It's slightly more powerful and concentrated than the rest of them, but the, the scent family is not any different at all. Now, the face mask is definitely relaxing. I've tried this on my face. It's definitely relaxing. There's another green detox face mask from This Works, and I have to say that face masks are not my favorite. This is just very, lavender essential oil you know a bit kind of fragranced for me obviously I've said it a million times because I use so many actives on my skin and I really go for it sometimes I always like to use products that aren't going to cause me any irritation so if you are in any way sensitive to fragrances then I don't think this is something that you should use because it's got the um, enzymes in it which will exfoliate your skin and I just feel like that in combination with um, some kind of perfumed essential oils can potentially irritate the skin. Now I'm not saying that essential oils or fragrance is going to be bad for everyone, not at all. Sometimes I love a bit of fragrance in products, I really really do. So if you don't go hard with the actives in your skincare routine and you love a bit of fragrance in there and you want something that's relaxing, and you like the sound of this, then give it a go. I love the nifty brush that this comes with. I think that's really kind of innovative. I must say, in terms of the packaging with these products, some of the things are really, really good. All the packaging feels nice and solid and smooth to the touch, but like they've got um, an eye cream that I used to use all the time and it comes with like a little built-in spoon. So you can dab it onto your eyes and then you can massage this very smooth, cold spoon across your under eyes um, and it's lovely. Now moving on to the bath range. So these are the newest to me. These are the newest products I've received. First of all, I'm gonna talk about the bath soak. I love the idea of salt, having a bath, I think that to have a nice relaxing lavender bath is absolutely heavenly. These are lovely. The one thing I will say is that they're quite potent in terms of their fragrance and I think that in addition to the essential oils they have got some kind of fragrance in there. When I looked at the um, the fragrance list on the box which I haven't got with me now it did say parfum fragrance and then it had like the lavender and the other essential oils that are in there and when I put it in the bath I did find that it was a little bit too fragranced for me. I love a nice um, essential oil bath, wonderful. I love the idea of detox bath salts, fabulous, but this was just a little bit too much. I'll definitely still enjoy using it, um, but I would just have to use a little bit less than I would like to use because I do feel like the fragrance is a little bit too pungent for me. The bath oil, however, is absolutely perfect. I didn't notice um, fragrance on the ingredients list with this. This seems to be more just essential oils, which is much better. And it's not as heavily perfumed, but it's definitely still lovely and fragrant and you get that lovely, relaxing lavender that comes through with this. It's really nice. I love the smell of lavender. I love oil in the bath. I generally do that if I've already had a shower so my body's nice and clean. And then I have like a nice relaxing bath and that is so nice and kind of 
especially if you've had a stressful day or if you've been working out or just working really hard in general and your body's a bit achy then to get into a nice hot bath with some oils in there that smell lovely it's just so nice and then my skin feels all lovely and moisturized and I'm the laziest person when it comes to moisturizing my skin. I spend so long on my face doing my skincare routine that I often neglect my body and I can't really be bothered to then wipe my legs and my arms with some kind of moisturizer. So something like this is really handy because you get out and then you can just kind of wipe your body down a little bit with the towel and you're kind of already moisturized because you've done it in the bath and it's had a minute to like really soak into your skin with the warm water so out of these two love the idea of the salt but too pungent and fragrance for me this is definitely the preferred one out of the two okay so lastly we have got the roll-on now this is nice it obviously it's more subtle because it's just going on your pulse points now unlike the um the pillow sprays i didn't notice a huge difference or something with this it smells nice i like the idea of it but it's not something that i think that i would go back to again and again so in terms of like purchasing products i don't think that if i ran out with it if i ran out of this i would then go on and purchase one it just doesn't do enough for me it doesn't smell as much and I don't really notice a difference in how calm it makes me feel so that one I could kind of take it or leave it the pillow sprays as I've already spoken about are winners for me would I purchase them again absolutely a hundred percent would I recommend them to someone that needs some kind of nurturing and comfort around bedtime and loves the soothing smell of lavender absolutely these are brilliant they're definitely not an essential thing they are a luxury they're a comfort they're an add-on but yeah i feel like they're just so relaxing and soothing and lovely that i love them don't care which one i use they're wonderful and in terms of the power nap spray i also love this but this one is more expensive so if i'm going into the shop with my own money to buy them i think that i would probably go for one of these i'm not sure which one i would go for i would just grab whichever i'm not entirely sure if these two are the same price um, but i'll link everything below and then we can see but if one was more expensive than the other one i would go for the more affordable one because yeah not too much difference between them, which I've already said about 5,000 times now. So out of the three, it would definitely be one of these. The face mask, mm, no, that's just not for me. Too many essential oils to have on my skin. I feel like it's just a little bit too um, harsh and irritating for my skin that's delicate from the actives. So that's it covering the whole This Works Sleep range. I know a lot of you guys are already using it and loving it. If you are, let me know which of your products is your favorite. I always love to hear your guys' thoughts on products. And I also heard that there is a pillow spray from Votary, um, which is a lovely skincare brand from the UK. I say lovely, I haven't even tried any of the products, but I've had really good um, feedback on it. They've got a pillow spray. I don't know anyone that's used that yet. So if you've used it, let me know in the comments if it's good and if I should um, try it out for myself. So that's it for today. Thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.